Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition, and we're going to talk about Minsk and Boo's Journal of Villainy, Misty Stepping Off of DM's Guild. So, uh, Minsk and Boo's Journal of Villainy just disappeared off of, um, off of the DM's Guild, right? And I want to talk about why, and uh, just the event of it. So, um, so first of all, let me define what this is. Not, not everybody might know what Minsk and Boo's Journal of Villainy is. Minsk and Boo's Journal of Villainy is a book that released in um, October of 2021. Um, and it had a very unusual release. So, uh, one of my, so I call this thing a big pamphlet. But one of my uh, very kind commenters was like, did you ask for smaller books? And, you know, saying that it was a contradiction. And I did ask for smaller books. I didn't want them delivered as electri- as e-books. I'm very opposed to Dungeons & Dragons releasing e-books. I, I, don't, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Um, I really feel like uh, Dungeons & Dragons is special because it's one of the few um, sources that are holding up print. And I think print is incredibly important. And I, and so I'm, you know, and I... And actually, boy, you know, I'm going to collect I was right ticket here. I told you, like, when you get electronic material, when electronic material drops, there are so many problems with that electronic material, right? So, um, and, you know, whereas if you just buy a print book, it doesn't matter what, you know, what the publisher wants to do, you have your print book, right? So that's, that's why I much prefer print books. So... So basically, here's what's happened so far. So, uh, three days after release of Minsk and Boo's Journal of Villainy, um, the content was pulled off of DM's Guild. And it was an official product from Wizards of the Coast, and you can no longer purchase it there. If you were incredibly uh, fortunate and you ordered this thing, you and you bought it, right, for $14.95 as a PDF... You still have the the ability to access the PDF that you already bought, and um, you know you can download it from DM's Guild, and then also you can you can print it. There is a print on demand option, and that's still available. But if you did not get Minsk and Boo's Journal of Villainy, that's me. You can't, right? Now, first of all, let's explore human nature, right? I did not want this book. I really didn't want this book. And I did like four videos saying how I thought this book was not good. And I still think this book is not good, right? But nothing makes me want something more than you telling me I can't have it. I totally want this book now. Oh my gosh. Right? In fact, I think I might seek out a printed version already or reach out to someone who has already identified on YouTube that they bought it, right? And they have the ability to do a print on demand. And then say, hey, you know, get that print on demand and I'll buy it from you, right? And the reason why is it's really special, right? Here's the kicker, right? So one, anybody who downloaded this PDF, first of all, you know, you better get it on your local uh, and, 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 and take it away from the internet, right? Because something's wrong in this book, right? And I think that, here, here's, this is speculation, but I'll, I'll tell you where we're going. So I suspect, well, I mean, I, I don't think this is that much speculation. If you pull down a book that was up for three days, something's wrong, right? So I, I don't think there's any question. Something is definitely wrong, right? So what is it? What's wrong, right? So I want to determine, you know, so I want to know what's wrong. And then I want to see that thing, right? Now, if I, if I, if I got, if I bought the PDF and I didn't download it, What's going to happen is nine chances out of ten, Wizards of the Coast will change it on the back end, right? And then they'll, you know, they'll put it back up and it'll be fixed, whatever it was, right? But we'll have to wonder what was the problem, right? Also, you'll just have the sadder, suckier version of whatever they fix, because you know, whatever's in there is probably going to be spicy, right? <laughs> you know, like, so you're going to have the taco without the spicy sauce, and who wants that? Who wants that, right? So I'm really... Now, the nice thing is, because we live in a post-secret world, we definitely live in a post-secret world, all right? Um, And people think they're going to keep secrets. They don't. Somebody's going to figure out how and why 
they they did this, and then we will know. Now, um, I will say this: Brian Laundry's still missing. So, like, <laughs> miss. I guess some secrets last longer than we expect, right? But I I expect that Brian Laundry will turn up soon, right? So, um, so basically, you know, it it is really really fascinating. So what? So why was it pulled off? Why was it pulled down? What's going on, right? Um, so let's talk about that. Like, what could it be? So um, Nerd Immersion covered this already, and he said that he had heard there was some spicy uh, art in it, right? That maybe the art was a little suggestive, right? And um, uh, uh, yeah, that that could definitely be a problem, right? Because I will say this, right? Everybody got their clothes on in D and D books nowadays, right? That that old you know bikini armor and you know not a lot of clad uh, people that that did happen in first and second edition. That ain't happening now, right? Like you know, everybody got their clothes on in D and D fifth edition. And frankly, I am thankful for that. I don't... <laughs> do not need people with less clothes in my Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition. Definitely not. Right? I don't think that's the reason. I think it, it's a couple different reasons. One, I think there's karma here, right? Uh, you know, I did say this. I'm just going to kind of double tap this point. Uh, I think uh, Wizards of the Coast made uh, a very big mistake sourcing canon from video games. I think Dungeons & Dragons needs to understand it is preeminently better than video games, right? Like, like basically, if you have a friend, right? Yeah, if you know, if you have an associate, right? An associate is generally, you know, just not as effective or productive than you, don't take advice from them, right? Like, Dungeons and Dragons is just infinitely better than, than video games. I'll tell you right now, I think a lot of parents are very happy to see their kids playing uh Dungeons and Dragons. I have a kid who plays Dungeons and Dragons on their own with no encouragement from me, and I'm always thrilled to see it, right? Because I'm like, oh, you want to read 750 pages of rules? Bet, right? But I, like every parent on the planet, is not super happy to see their kids playing video games. Because this whole noise that video games help you and make you a better person, at the macro level, that ain't that ain't showing up. There's no parent in the world who's like, oh, if only my kid would play more video games. Like, that is not the narrative that's happening, right? So the reality is, overall, video games are a legacy narrative engine. They don't really help people. They massively stall, um, you know, personal progress for many, many, many people. I know a dude who's got like 800 hours in Civilization V, right? Like, come on, man. Like, you, you can't figure out better ways to spend your time than that, right? And I'll tell you right now, you dump 800, 800 hours into, into uh, Dungeons and Dragons... You will be a better person for it, right? You're going to have better social skills, far better literacy, the ability to write, to do math, right? You're going to know a lot about a lot of new topics, right? That ain't going to come from Civ Five, right? So I think the real problem here is that 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 Dungeons and Dragons forgot who they are. They are the better, 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 um, you know, creative element than video games, and you should never ever source from a lesser source, right? If you, like, this would be like, you know, if there's there's a place called Pizzeria Badia, you know, in Philadelphia. It's one of the, it's literally considered one of the best pizzerias in all of America. This would be like if they ordered out to get Pizza Hut, right? Like, you know, just D&D should not be getting any ideas from, from video games. And so I think overall the reason this is getting canceled is because generally quality, narrative, qual- quality across everything, narrative art, um, all of it, right? Dungeons and Dragons just has a hot, much better quality standard than the video game industry over and all. And I think this is, this is the, you know, um, the ball swinging back to clack them in the teeth, um, you know, because they made the mistake of sourcing from video games. That's my opinion. I'd love to hear your opinion. Why do, what do you think of this Dungeons and Dragons mystery? Why do you think Minsk and Boo's journey, Journal of Villainy was pulled, did a misty step off of the DM skill. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.